bring this home process it get the brass out of it same thing with that air conditioner I'm not taking it apart here oh man this thing's heavy Ooh, Lord have mercy Goodness gracious. Alright, we got to get it in the shade. Start with. That is a piece. Whew. Man. Oh. That PAD kicking into my legs. Give myself a break here. Mm. Phillips head. Phillips head. Damn it. Okay. I do have a breeze going on as long as I'm in the shade. Getting hot. Start snotting out. Oh. Alright. Pick up some of this goodness we got laying around. Everywhere. Get that quarter. just all for this one just this one place that's money right there money I gotta straighten up the trailer to get that big boy in there because she still got some weight to it with that cast on the bottom but this thing here it looks like pure copper baby good lord she's heavy and aluminum nice score Oh boy. All right, let me get my legs a break. All right. All I got left is the air conditioner, which I'm taking home. Like an ape man. I'm gonna drag it. Like an ape man. Come with me. Pretty boy. Yeah. 
Yeah, baby, come with me. Come here, girl. All right. I can cut you go. Never. It's just amazing how heavy them things are. Never. process these things and I'm a little bit disappointed I'm out here in the sunlight but these pins come out fairly easy got one in the front there should be one right here there it is pull them out with your fingers and then there's if you notice there's another one yeah. Pin right there. Pull that thing out. Now, the whole thing's ready to come out of there as long as that damn tray right there is not in your way. how easy a refrigerator is. I'm ready to throw it in the truck. I'll be out of here this whole load. There you go. You got to see the whole thing, everybody. 
What do you think about it? Don't crash. Back of the truck for processing later. Got quite a bit of load in there. All right, all the tools are up. Let's pick them all up. I'm done. Tools away. Load up. Finish loading. We are. Let's see what we got here. Okay. Oh, there it is. All right. So obviously that fidget rod is not getting on here. Is that washing machine without this stuff getting straightened up? And. I have the same thing to pick up again. So, best thing I can do, stack, stack and pack this stuff. Even with a big trailer, you need all the room you can get. Part like I do, even though I got a trailer, you can really stack it pretty tight. Pretty tight. Somebody made a comment on my videos about what looking at my pants all the time. I apologize for that. And I'm trying to do stuff to correct it. Somebody also mentioned after that, a different person, wear your GoPro, uh, excuse me, your GoPro up higher. So I did, I raised it as far as it would go. So hopefully you're not seeing my pants as much as you were. It was pretty ugly. I went back and looked at it. I went back and looked. It was ugly. Sir. Oh, way to get this out of here. Tangled up. I'll be in a mess. I mean, you take it apart, you can tighten it up pretty good. Take it apart. Touch it up nice. Stick stuff everywhere.
Got a pretty good load in the back of the truck too. Stuff that needs to be taken apart, cleaned up. What's left of a stove. Fill that up if I want to. And this too. Huh. Yes, sir. I might have room just to go ahead and go get that other load process it just like I did but it's awful hot today oh, yeah. I don't want to do much more. my day is almost over by the time I get home with this I only try to work from 8 to 2 I'm gonna shut my truck off it's about out of gas I can tell you one thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna back all the way over to that thing. Don't think for a second I'm gonna drag that thing to my trailer. And then I'll show you how I load. A refrigerator by myself. A scrapper has to do what a scrapper has to do. I mean that right, scrappers. I know the dumpster cats do a lot of this heavy lifting. Now this thing, just so you know, is heavy. I mean that is still heavy as hell. It's a washing machine and you know why it's so heavy. Because it needs all that weight in the bottom handle all that weight that we put in it oh this is basically the way I do it Woo -wee. always put the heavy part towards the top whatever the heaviest end is all right a few more things here clean up for them all right Smell wire burning. Must be next door. All right, I'm gonna back up to that.
that's how you do that. Okay, sorry about that. I got an appointment. All right, so basically, I want to get the motors out of these things. There's nothing to them. They're not heavy. Turn it sideways. Lean it up and push. See what I'm saying? Scrap old grandpa. Can't stop me. Alright. <clears throat> Scrap old grandpa, second trip today. <coughs> second trip today. Day in the life of a scrapper. on this thing you better know what you're doing a skinny little thing I have seen people come off the side before green light red light whatever you want to call it on the beach Second trip here today, everybody. And I took everything apart. Took all the goodness out of it. Separated it. Put all the goodness in the back of my truck that I want to still work on. Got all the rest of it here in the back of the truck. And we are gonna dump it. I was one of them scrappers that just picked up stuff and brought it in because I got another load I could pick up and have here by 4 or 5 o'clock or before 4 30 but I'm not going to do that I gotta go home check on my dogs after I check on my dogs I might go pick up that other load that I was hoping to get today I might we'll see oh in the day of a life of a scrapper Thanks for riding around with Grandpa today. Hope you enjoyed it. Day in life for the scrapper. One day at a time, people. One day at a time. Do what you love doing. 
dream what you love dreaming. All right, everybody. Scrapping with Grandpa. I don't know if you can see that or not. Probably not. 209. I'm done for the day, are you? I don't work nine to five. I work eight to two. I love my job. Do you? If you don't, quit today. Find your job. It's a whole lot better going out here and enjoying what you do as opposed to killing yourself every day for somebody that probably doesn't appreciate you if you don't like your job. Um, or you just need to change up. So I love what I do. Scrapping with Grandpa, 58 years old. I am done going out there and putting hard labor in for anybody. Um, like I say, I do subcontract some work out, so it's not like I don't do anything for a living besides scrapping. Although, to be honest with you, where I'm at today, I could, I could just make a living with scrapping, so I'm actually doing better than I need to be. And I hope you are. God bless everybody. And uh, scrap on. Day in the life of a scrapper. I'm going to check on my dogs. Haven't decided whether I'm going to go pick up these uh, other things or not. But if not, they're available first thing in the morning. Washer, dryer, refrigerator, stove, microwave. Guy just did an update. Had Lowe's replace all their stuff. And Lowe's told him, come tell, uh, call Drew. Scrap with Grandpa. He'll pick it up for free. I'm pretty sure the lowest charges to uh, um, get, to haul away your appliances if, if you get new ones. So I'll do it for free. Call Drew, scrapping with Grandpa.